Into the Light Stream 3, Bungie has announced a lot and this may be the best stream we've had yet. Whisper of the Worm and Zero Hour reprised missions with craftable exotics. Three brand new PvP maps, Pantheon a raid boss gauntlet activity coming at the end of April, some new gameplay story and secret updates, and the final shape gameplay stream next week. Let's jump right in. So Guardians, the stream this week for Into the Light Stream 3 was a great one. Let's go in the order of things they discussed in the stream, and we'll first start off with those brand new reprised exotic missions. Whisper of the Worm and Zero Hour missions will return, Whisper at launch April 9th, and Zero Hour in May. There's many new secrets and gameplay changes to both of these missions. For example, chests and surprises have been changed around. You'll need to find new guides, new locations for the chest, and figure out how to complete some of these gameplay encounters. The rewards have also been changed around a bit. For example, those ships you got from the previous missions, there's new updated versions of those. You may remember the scrap ship which many players didn't enjoy from Zero Hour, but it has been updated and inspired by the Outbreak weapon. So you have a chance to get some of those ships like Thousand Wings alongside some of those exotics if you don't have them. When it comes to new challenges for these new missions, players have more power now, so combatants have been beefed up. An example was adding a brig to one of the Zero Hour opening encounters. Io is obviously gone, so you won't enter through the portal like you originally did. Now Eris Morn will be our guide through. She'll tell us some lore as it was hinted, but you won't have to wait hours for a public event like back in the day. Chess changes, surprises changes, and a new boss fight. Or at least mechanics for the boss fight. They didn't show gameplay because they wanted this to be a secret for all of us to play, but that's the basics. For zero hour, the timer is still there for the activity. Normal will be 40 minutes, and Legend, 20 minutes. Bungie thought one of the big issues was going to be the new sandbox and maneuverability of Guardian supers and swords, for example, but the mission apparently played pretty well. Secrets here are also different. No key cards anymore, which was mentioned, and there's a new system. The boss fight has also been updated and the same as Whisper. New changes, secrets that I didn't want to spoil in the live stream. Now on to the craftable exotics. They wanted to retain the fantasy of both of these weapons. Whisper is hard hitting. Crits are rewarding. Outbreak was all about spreading that SIVA plague. Both will have craftable barrel, magazine, traits, and stock options. An example they gave was max stability for Whisper of the Worm. Whisper of the Worm's reserves have been bumped up from 18 to 24, and each week for both of the weapons, you'll unlock new perks from the missions, new intrinsic traits. Um, the barrel and magazine options will let you like really push the stats around. Mm -hmm. um, like so, you'll be able to have like a max stability whisper if you want. Uh, yeah. Um, which was like you know really advantageous for a weapon that's about this like hitting repeated critical hits. Certainly. Uh, in an area, on whisper and the, both the perks on whisper and outbreak are things that by engaging in our secrets week over week, and in both of these exotic missions, uh, you'll be able to unlock them. Um, and whisper it starts off with mulligan. Uh, which is the, the classic perk where if you miss your shots, they get refunded. Mm -hmm. But if you uh, upgrade it, you can get field prep, which will give you more shots, which equals more damage. Yeah. Uh, and then there's no distractions, which will allow you to you know uh, keep uh, under under fire, hold your aim on your target better. Exactly. And there's also enlightened action, which is for more forgiving reloads. So there's, I think, a lot of options for players of different play styles and different skill levels Perfect. there. For the outbreak perfected, the outlaw perk is back. Fast reload on final blows. Rapid Hit, Rewind Rounds, and Head Seeker have also been added. And if you don't have the Catalyst, you'll have a chance to get them in these new reprised versions. Play the Legend versions of the missions to get a chance for them to drop. Let's now move on to the PvP map pack. They just kind of walked around these maps, showed us what's new, and talked about the locations and design. These brand new maps are a part of a 3 map map pack, and it's going to be free for all players. The focus here from Bungie was on competitive gameplay experiences, new maps, tweaks to modifiers and modes, and more focus on competitive gameplay. The first map takes place on Europa and is called Eventide Labs. 
a long forgotten human colony outpost. And this one also has a cool touch story-wise, as apparently Aramis has stopped to refuel her catch here. I made a video a while ago talking about what's going on with Aramis. After, you know, events of Season of the Seraph and her siding with the Witness partially, she's decided to just give up. Try and head back to Rees, find her wife, and see what remains. So I guess this is where she stopped on her way, which is kind of cool. Next up, Neo Muna's map is Cirrus Plaza. I think they said this was a shipping location for Exos, I might have heard that wrong, but this map is much different than the first one. You know, just right away pleased with, you know, how readable the map is. It's one of those maps that you play a couple times and you're, you, you get it, like you understand that it's all about this, the center atrium room that is really open and kind of, you know, has this big pit in the middle and then, yeah. um, there's this area down here, which is uh, where a lot of objectives spawn, and there's um, some special ammo down here. But then there's also um, this place over here where the, oh, the heavy ammo spawns, yep. and you know players will oftentimes just pop up here to do a quick check and, and maybe like try to get a, a cheeky kill on somebody who's maybe running uh, from cover to cover. But yeah. you can't hang out here for very long because you've got so many different angles at which you can um, get shot from. And lastly, we have Dissonance, which is Essence in Earth's Orbit, takes place on the Pyramid Ship. Like Lightfall's Ray, this Pyramid Ship is being transformed by the Traveler. It might even be the same pyramid, actually. This palette has a very nice design, and the map looks pretty beautiful. There's a collection of mysterious artifacts that the Witness has collected, and lots of cool darkness imagery and murals. What about some other huge announcements? Towards the end of the stream, they just rifled off a bunch of new changes. The first one is called Pantheon, which apparently is a new raid boss gauntlet starting April 30th. Take down raid bosses with escalating challenges. Get exotics, adept weapons, and emblems. Now they didn't say much beyond that, but that sounds pretty fun. We're getting onslaught with these waves of enemies like a firefight mode, an activity I believe in Pantheon where you defeat some of the hardest bosses in the game. This was a great idea and I can't wait to hear more about that soon. Into the Light will have a brand new title called Brave. New players to Destiny 2 can join the front lines right away now and skip the New Light campaign if you wish. This is a great option. Players can now just jump into Into the Light with their friends, not have to go through that New Light experience so you won't even have to talk to Shah Han at all. April 9th, players can change their look at the character customization screen, and you're also getting another name change. During the stream, Andy said you should have two if you haven't used the other one. He'd have to fact check that information, but you're getting one new name change for sure. 
And to conclude, on April 9th next week, when this all releases, we'll also be getting a Final Shape gameplay stream. Twitch drops will be enabled with a brand new emblem, and they'll finally show some new gameplay for the expansion releasing this June. Anyway, Guardians, that's all we got for today's video. One of the best Into the Light streams yet, in my opinion, and let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you'd like to see some more Destiny lore and mysteries just like this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.